Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lauren and today we are going to do an introduction for another project pan. This is my 21 in 2021 project pan. I'm doing the hashtag team project pan video that was created by uh, Kat and Haley and of course they're they're from Beauty News and I'm going to of course list them down below. So the goal of this project is to use up 21 products in the year of 2021. So within the year and hello Charlie. I'm going to say hi everybody. So my friend got him this uh, thing for um, Christmas. And it says, my mom is single. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're gonna use up 21 products and this is basically a full face. So I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to do this because I know I wanna do other projects within the year. And so that's why this is going up late. And I went ahead and marked the stuff that I know that I've used because all I am going to keep track of everything on my notebook, how many times I used it, weights, pictures, all that kind of stuff. So if I knew how many times I've used it this month because I have been in quarantine, so I haven't really been using a lot of makeup. So I was able to mark down some things of what I knew. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce 15 products, but I know that I'm not gonna have 15 products at, at like all times. I wanted to have at least 10 at all times though. And this is gonna be a rolling style, so we are just gonna continue to roll in products. But I did try to use um, a lot of the products in this project today, so you can see it on my face. So since this is going up so late, what I'll probably do is not check in at, like I think most people are doing theirs on the first. So I'm not gonna check in on February 1st. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip that one, move to March, but I will definitely keep track of everything in my notebook so we can see all the different changes. So. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, um, I do a lot of project panning, obviously, um, empties, videos, hauls, stuff like that. So definitely if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would join and don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will alert you anytime that I upload a video because my schedule is like, there is no schedule. So <laughs> there's that. Anyways, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna do this kind of in the way that I would do my makeup. And so the first product is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is what we look like. This is the only product that is gonna be a little bit harder to kind of see because I mean, I guess I can squeeze uh, squeeze and see how much it is, but I am gonna do the weights on here. Um, so you are gonna see, I'm not gonna put the weights for the very first you know, intro because uh, there's no point, but I will do the weights and how many times I used all the products and all that stuff. So you can see all that, but I just want to see how long this is going to take me to go through. This isn't the full size. It's 0.06 uh, mils, but I definitely need to get this used up because it's older in my collection. All right, next is my Becca Backlight, Backlight Priming Filter. And this is where we are rolling it in at. There's definitely like uh, lower on some sides, but I think that's about kind of where we're at. And this is my Holy Girl primer. I absolutely love it. And I'm just so excited that I'm finally getting to use this one because this one is getting up there in age, but it still smells freaking amazing. So definitely love this for kind of like filtering your face and making your foundation look a little better, giving you some luminosity to the skin. And I always double prime, but I'm going to just roll in probably one primer at a time, and then that way I can roll in the other primers for any other projects. Okay. So I'm not gonna roll in a foundation right now because I'm still not sure exactly which one I wanna do or what combo's working for me, because I know if you watch my products that I want to pan in 2021, I'll go ahead and list up here, that I have like five different ones that I wanna pan, but some of them are, one of them's too light, a few of them are too dark, and I wanna kind of, I'm playing with them to see which ones, cause I'm mixing them, seeing which ones work the best. Once I figure that out, then I'll probably introduce them into this project, but it's still a work in progress. For a concealer, I'm gonna roll in the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer, and I love this concealer. I have it in the shade Meringue, which is a little too light for me, so I am mixing it with another one. So I don't know how long this is going to take because I'm not using as much product as I normally would. But I think we are about here. And um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this product as well, but I'm, I, I'm guessing that's kind of like where we're at. 
and this will probably take me I would say at least four more months or more to go through this. I should have this Becca one done in the next two or three months. Okay, so for powders, I have the Becca Hydramus Set and Refresh Powder. This is the cooling one. I absolutely love this one. It's just really expensive. So I only recommend getting it if you can get it on sale because there's not a lot of product in there either. But you definitely don't want to have it in your, your like collection for more than six months because you will lose that cooling sensation, which fortunately is what happened to me. But I mean, it is still a pretty good powder. Um, this is where we are right now. And I think this was pretty much brand new. I think I started using this in December. So there's not a lot of product in there, but um, hopefully this will only take us a, a couple months to go through because I'm not really using a lot of powder because my skin's been so dry. So I'm really only powdering my forehead and then like right here where I would put my blush and bronzer and stuff. So it's gonna take a little bit more this year, a little bit longer than, um, than normal. Oh, and if I didn't mention, there is a quarterly refresh that we can do. So every uh, season, basically every three months, if we're not feeling the products, we can refresh them and roll in new products. So uh, I'm gonna try to stick with what I have, but you know, I definitely love having that option just in case something just ends up going really bad. So this year, I don't have a lot of bronzers that really haven't, I think I only have one bronzer that has a pan in it and it's in a palette. So I think what I wanna do is just roll in a bronzer and see if I can hit pan on it. That will be the goal. So the first one I'm gonna roll in is the Lorac uh, Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder in the shade Pool Party. So I have a good dip going in this one right here. And I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but um, I'm starting to see a little bit of the rings but I don't know. I think I just want to hit pan on this one. I don't know. I may change my mind at the end and want to pan it. Who knows? All right. So for blush, I absolutely love blush, obviously. Uh, but so I couldn't just pick one blush. And that was what I was having problems with last year is I can't just use one blush. Like I can do that more for bronzers, but I just can't do that for blush. So what I'm going to do is a roll in all of the blushes that I want to get some use on in 2021. So I have three blushes here and I went ahead and put them in a Z palette. And this is the blush that I tried to pan last year and I just basically hit pan on it. It is the Tarte blush in Feisty. And I think I just wanna leave all of these in all year and see you know, how I can do with them. My goal will be to definitely, I definitely want to try to finish this one off, but I just don't know because there's so much product in there. It doesn't look like it, but it's pretty domed at the top um, or I mean in the middle. So I don't know how I'm going to, how I'm going to do that. And they all look similar. They all look the same, but they all have a little bit different uh, ness to them on the cheeks. And this one is comes off to be a little bit more, it's what I'm wearing right now, a little bit more like nudie. And then this one is more pink and shimmery. And then this one is just more of like a mauve -y kind of cooler tone. And these are both, nope. <laughs> these two are both from Pacifica. And this one is in Wild Rose and this is in Tender Heart. I really, this one's gonna be on kind of a little bit on the back burner, but definitely if I need to have a more pinky blush, I'll have that option but I really want to pan or finish this one this year because then, cause this came out of a palette and if I can do that, then I can use like a whole like face palette. So that should be really cool. And cause I finished the other blush in 2019. So I don't know. I want to at least hit pan on this. I want to try to finish this. I mean, ideally I would finish this one too, but we all know how hard blushes uh, are to finish. And a lot of them take, over 200 something uses to uh, actually use up. So I definitely don't even use makeup that much. I only use makeup like four, four times a week usually. So <sighs> there's only so much blush you can wear. Okay, for highlighters, I have uh, my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop and mine is actually from the Becklin Jaclyn Hill 
collection palette thing. So I have mine, and it's gonna be really reflective, I'm sorry. Um, this is Champagne Pop, and I want to go ahead and finish this one off. So I don't know how long that's gonna take because I have a backup, a full-size backup, and I have one that's in another palette. So I definitely wanna try to use that one up and then, uh, you know, we'll we'll go from there. But I don't know if I could ever declutter this package because it's so freaking cute. So, I don't know. And then for setting spray, so um, I have two products mixed in here. This is the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew Mist. And I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder setting spray. Um, and I, what I did was mix both of these together just because I liked the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it is a little drying. It's, it's supposed to help stay all day and it really does, but it, it's almost like, it's almost like too much, but I have really extremely dry skin. So there's that. And then this is more of a radiance one. So I love mixing setting sprays to come up with your own concoction and stuff. So that's where we're going with. And we are about halfway. So we're right there. So next is brow products. And I am actually going to roll in two. So what I'll do is, or let me just tell you what they are first. This is the ABH Brow Wiz in Medium Brown, which is actually too light. And then the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Pencil. This one's in Brunette. And this is more of like my sh color. So I'll kind of like fill in the top part, the front part of my brows, and then I'll kind of like outline where I want, and then I'll fill it in with this one. All right, so I have my little lines right here. And the ABH one, we are starting off right here. And the L'Oreal one, we are starting off right here. So I actually think I'm gonna finish the uh, ABH one first, just because I have to use a lot more product in there each time, but since I have to use them together, I might as well keep track of both of them and, uh, you know, see how long it takes me to use them up. So I'm not gonna add any, like, brow gel or, like, mascara in because you just can't really see progress with those, so we're just gonna skip those, and so it's not gonna be, like, a complete full face, but you guys get their drift. So all I wanna do is really use liquid eyeliner so I'm really bad about using actual pencils. So I figured, and I, cause I've been trying to use these pencils for like at least a year and a half. And like, this is where we are. So uh, I figured it's not gonna get done if I don't put it in a project. So I am going to put these in. So I have one brown and one black. The brown one is from Ulta Beauty. It's, and it's actually in the shade black brown. And this is where we are starting. So, uh, you know, hopefully my goal will be to get both of these done by the end of the year. They will be in here the whole year. I will guarantee you that. Um, and then this one is, we're going to measure from the silver part and right there. And this one is the Ciate London Wonder Wand Gel Coal Liner in Black. So if you measure from like the bottom silver part, they're pretty close on where they're actually at. So uh, hopefully I can get these done by the end of the year. Otherwise I'm gonna be kicking myself. Okay, and this one's a little bit of gimme product, but I have already been using this one. Um, this is the Mary Kay Lip Liner in Clear, which I have absolutely no idea why you would have a clear lip liner. Well, I mean, ah, I mean, I understand like having, um, I mean, just so your lips, they don't, their lipstick doesn't bleed outside the lines, but still. Uh, oh no. All right, so that fell out. Um, at least it fell on my counter. All right, so I'm not gonna roll it up all the way, but uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna put that back in there. So I'm just gonna show you on this piece of paper. So this is where we're at. It doesn't look like a lot of product, but I've already been using it consistently for about a month. So we don't have too terribly much left in there. We started off right here. I think I'm probably about here right now. And I want to just get this out of my collection so I can get it out. All right, couple more lip products. Yes, we're putting more lip products in. Okay, so this one is going to be a stretch. And I'm hoping it's not in here till the end of the year. This is my Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Kiss. It doesn't look like much, but this is a bright color. Um, 
I mean, it's not like too terribly bright. So you want to see this shade on me. I have it in my December empties. I'll go ahead and list that up here. But this is what I had on earlier. And then I topped it with the next product that we're going to talk, talk about. But this is where we are starting. And I'm just hoping that we can get this done by the end of the year. I know it looks so small. I've used so much of it already. But, I mean, with mask wearing and everything, it's not something you can wear all the time. So what I've been doing recently with some of my lip products is just putting them on as just kind of like chapstick. Just to get some use out of them and around the house and stuff like that. But this one does dry down matte. And it is... I wouldn't say it's like transfer proof, but I mean, it's got some stain powder. So it's not going to be one of those ones that's like really glossy or feels really great on the lips. I mean, it feels great. It feels fine on the lips, but it's not like one of those, you know, satiny finishes or anything. So it's going to be a little harder to use. And then the last lip product is this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, and that's in this color strip. And it is just a mini, but it's a liquid lipstick. We're going to try to cycle through some. And I had this on earlier. I topped it with this one. So it is a little bit of a lighter color than this. But yeah. Um, I've definitely been using a good amount of this. And if I scrape the sides, I can sometimes, you know, the, some of the windows will stay. So I'm hoping the next couple months we can get this one out and I can start rolling in some more. Okay, but, and then the last thing, I'm not really going to... I don't want to say I'm going to roll in some eyeshadows and I have no real goals for this. But this is more just for me and my curiosity. So I have um, what I call my life palette and I just want to basically show this um, every time just to kind of see for my benefit how like much use I'm getting out of this because if I ever have a palette, like this has everything that I need in here. So if a palette doesn't have like a, a matte cream or like a shimmer or something, I can come to this palette and use it. Or when I travel, I'll take this. So I just want to kind of do this for me just to kind of see and show myself if I'm making any progress with any of these shades or if it's just staying the same by the end of the year. So we will see. All right, and that is going to be it. So if you counted that, 16 products, but I don't really have any goals, you know, for this one. Now, if I were to, like, finish up a shadow from here, you better believe I'm going to count it because I don't finish eyeshadows. I jump from palette to palette to palette, and I cannot use a eyeshadow palette more than a few times a month or I get bored. So, so I'm so excited to be doing this project this year. Definitely going to continue to do a few more projects throughout the year. But I'm really, really excited about this one and getting to know exactly how long things last and how long things take because we all think that they're different. And I might think that I can use this in two months, but this is really going to take like five months. So, you know, it's very interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're doing a project pan, definitely leave it down below because I love watching project pans, especially um, the ones that I'm doing too. And I just want to like come and watch y'all's videos and binge watch as much as I can. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.